numbers. Today we're installing a Roadworks Sun Visor. Stainless steel visor on this 2015 T680. My last video I was driving a W900. That truck is gone. Put it on Craigslist and it sold like in three days. So then I had to go buy another truck. I decided to go deaf this time. Moved up 15 years in truck. And so far I'm pleased with it. I put about 50,000 miles on it. It's got the pack car engine. Barely hear it running. And this is Carter doing all the work. They didn't give us any directions with the sun visor. Nothing came in the box, so we had to figure it out. But now that we have it figured out, it's actually quite easy. So we'll uh, check in with him in a minute. One of the things that I I invested in when I got the pack car engine, I bought a core at the salvage yard. And, you know, I'm looking at this thing right here, $1,200. The turbo, $6,000. Okay, I guess the screen went off on me. Anyway, this uh, this little actuator for the variable geometry turbo, honest to God, they're $1,200. And that turbo itself, I couldn't believe the price on that. Plus you get all these other parts, spare parts, but my intentions are to uh, rebuild it. This, uh, Kenworth has 650,000 miles on it. They say you get a million miles out of the pack car if you look after them. And so far it doesn't burn any oil. I changed the oil 25,000, about to change it again and it's still, uh, it's still full of oil. But I like doing my own repairs. I know a lot of guys like getting new trucks so they don't have to work on anything, but I have my own shop. I like to do my own stuff. So far the biggest difference I've noticed with this truck over the W900 Caterpillar engine excuse me, is uh, fuel economy. I'm averaging about 7.3. I just run Florida. So, um, so far, on every trip, I'm saving about 300 bucks a week. And that adds up. The fuels are going back up. You know, it's gone up 30, 40 cents in the last month since the election. So I'm, I'm just uh, itching to get a hold of her, uh, start tearing this engine down. I've rebuilt the Caterpillar a few times. This is my first pack car. So we'll start taking it apart and see what makes it tick. And then, if I don't need it by the time I have it rebuilt, then I'm uh, going to sell it and do another one. But this pack car is, uh, like I say, it's quiet. It doesn't have near the power the Caterpillar does. But just running Florida, there's only really one hill, Mont Eagle. And it strokes up Mont Eagle about 40 miles an hour. All the other hills are, uh, they don't seem to bother it much. One thing about this engine, 
you can run this down to 900 RPM because of that variable geometry turbo. It's still getting lots of boost. Uh, that's what the manual says. A few other YouTubes I've looked at said the same thing. I get down to a thousand and uh, that's about as far as I'm willing to go with it. But you'll have to tune in to future videos we start making this this uh, engine apart. Well shops in a mess today. We've got a bunch of jobs going on. A 17 year old. I know I know but I just uh, enlisted in the army. He's got his truck all tore apart. Sitting outside. My 15 year old has a Dodge. And this is his engine. Spare engine we're taking but apart. Dorothy, here's, one, here's what I can't understand. How Rebuild it. Going around with Dennis Put it back together. It's in a 2000 oh, Dodge pickup. Very good looking and he, has a he bought for, I don't know, a thousand bucks. Here. We're just going to do that some body work. Better? What's that? Whatever it is, you could use it. Fix the engine up a little bit. Put her on the road. Is that so? By the way, Dorothy, you know Mary Lee. Oops. Well, we're back and we have the sun visor installed. It worked almost perfectly. There was just a few little things that didn't line up and we had to get the hammer out. Beat on it a little bit. But I think... Uh, what's the name of the back of my shirt? Chrome Stacks. Yeah, what? Chrome Stack. <laughs> Chrome Stack? Oh, Chrome Shack. Yeah, Chrome Shack. We bought it at Chrome Shack down in uh, Morristown, Tennessee. Go check them out. They got a lot of stuff down there. The uh, gear guard we put on two weeks ago and bought that online in New Jersey. And I think it was, uh, well, with shipping, it was about $700. If you go pick it up, it's $400. That's a pretty good deal because I priced them and most places want $1,200. And some of them aren't even stainless steel. Like that's pretty nice. So there we have it. T680 with the uh, 15 and a half inch drop visor. Almost like a big truck now. Get our chicken lights on. Put those on the first week. Super singles. I bought uh, I bought some tires. They are measure out to uh, oh three quarters of the treads left, and I got four of those with the rims for eighteen hundred dollars. I'll get two years out of those. You cannot beat those super singles. Oh, there's the chicken lights are on. And I hooked into the ECM and upgraded some software. I also have the Davy system to do that. So there's with our, how do you get that thing to start up again? Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's with the lights on. Cool. 455 Rip Snorton Tootin horsepower. <laughs> She's a beast. But she gets a good fuel economy. 7.3 of them. Seven, and sometimes if I deadhead a little bit, it jumps right up to 8 or 9. Uh, we're going to go, we didn't do a very good job of uh, showing you how to install this, but basically on this T680, which one of those lights at? These are the marker lights that come from the factory. So there's two screws holding each one in, and each one has a wire. 
So what we did, you take this out and the Roadworks visor has a bracket that fits in the slot where this light went. And you screw it in and then there's uh, two other holes where you drill and drop bolts in each one. So there's five brackets. So it's pretty easy. We had a little issue because it didn't want to line up on the passenger side very well. So we had to build our own little bracket. I don't know if you can see that or not. Because we couldn't, uh, we couldn't manipulate it down in there. Second one from the end, we had to just take a little piece of stainless steel and drill four holes. Carter did that. So that's basically all there is to it. And then you get all the bolts on and uh, Get everything installed and then tighten it all up at once. So it's pretty easy. Okay. Okay, I'm all out of things to say. So, adios!